Spectroelectrochemistry is a powerful tool for gaining electronic and chemical information about materials in a single experiment. It provides a comprehensive understanding of the phenomena occurring at an electrode during redox processes. Or, in other words, chemical reactions where electron transfer between the reactants is involved. Today, we will show you how to perform spectroelectrochemistry using the Invenio FTIR spectrometer and our dedicated reflection accessory. The measurements in this video will be performed using attenuated total reflectance, or ATR. For this purpose, electrodes are introduced into the electrolyte with the working electrode positioned in close proximity to the surface of the ATR crystal. To showcase the experiment, we have chosen a simple example to focus on the steps required for this setup, the oxidation of ferrocyanide. The electric potential in our measurement cell is increased until we reach the binding energy of the electron, causing oxidation of the ion center. This affects the binding strength of the cyanide ligand, which can be easily observed in the FTIR spectra. In this schematic drawing, you can see the overall setup, including the purge line, auxiliary, reference, and working electrode. If you want more details on this application, please check out the full version of this video in the description. Now, let's get everything set up. First, assemble the glass tube with the ATR crystal plate. Remember to tighten each screw in an alternating manner and only hand tight. Then insert the combined glass tube and ATR crystal into the aluminum body. Next, insert the entire body into the accessory with the ATR window facing downward into the beam path and secure it with three screws. Use the other three larger screws for optional height alignment. Before starting the experiment, it's best to align the mirrors. You can achieve this by following the signal intensity during alignment in our Opus software until it is maximized. With the Invenio setup completed, secure everything with the sample compartment cover. Here is a top view of the setup, including the purge line and the potency step. To prepare for the experiment, fill the electrochemical cell with the analyte, in our case, ferrocyanide. Then install the set of electrodes, a gold working electrode, a platinum counter electrode and a reference electrode. Finally, introduce the nitrogen purge and connect the electrodes to the potentiostat. In some cases, for example when water or CO2 are the end product, purging is not enough. For these situations, we offer vacuum systems to perform spectroelectrochemistry. From this point onward, all further steps are controlled through the software and an experiment has already been set up. Please note that as soon as the FTIR measurement is initiated, the Invenio will send a trigger to the waiting potency step and will then start the measurement perfectly synchronized. Let's fast forward to the end of the measurement run. In the 3D plot, the trace display and the spectrum display, the progression of the reaction is evident. After the potential has been increased for about 150 seconds, the chemical reaction begins. The decrease of the ferrocyanide complex occurs at 2040 wave numbers, while the increase of the newly created ferricyanide complex can be observed at 2115 wave numbers. You can easily adjust the indicator markers and display the corresponding spectra as desired. You can, of course, adapt the time resolution to the respective reaction kinetics to follow very fast or very slow reactions depending on your need. And that's it! Now you know how to perform spectroelectric experiments with Invenio. Thank you for watching our quick demonstration and we look forward to seeing you again soon.